Brooks since you have the phone with him. Welcome to our art session today. We're going to be painting our own planet. I have a little example right down here. My name is Abigail, by the way. Um, and we're here to have fun and just have a good time, right? So um, we have some basic colors with us today. We got a red, yellow, blue, and also a white. We should also have some, a paintbrush with us and a cup of water and a paper towel, because it's not ours to make a little bit of a mess, right? Awesome. So, before we get started, I just want to say that, we, again, we're here to have fun. There's no pressure to make your painting look anything like this one. I'm pretty sure mine's not going to look exactly like this either, and it's totally fine. And you don't even have to use the same exact colors, too. I know that this painting is more of like an orangey purple with a little bit of yellow, but if you want more of like a blue planet, or maybe a green planet, or maybe a planet with polka dots or with stripes, feel free to do whatever you want. We're here to have fun. All right, should we get started? Yes, I'm gonna come paint with you in just a second. Ooh, Matt's gonna join me. Oh, awesome. Well, the equipment looks good here, okay. Yes, you take your time, friend. Thanks. I think for me, I'm gonna grab my brush. I'm gonna wake it up by dipping it in the water. So it's nice and wet, and we can get ready to get started. And we should also have like a second paint palette. Um, if you want, you can mix colors on that. But for me, I like to mix colors like directly on my planet. Kind of experimenting with it, see what happens. We'll go with the flow. Um, and for me, I like to start light and make my way to like a darker color. So that way it looks more like three dimensional, if that makes sense. It's not super flat. Um, so for me, I think I'm going to start off with a little bit of like yellow and then make my way to a red and then turn it into like a purple color. So I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to dip it into the yellow. Have some nice paints in there. I think I'm gonna start maybe like on this side right here. I'm just following the shape of my planets as much as I need. I'll be there in just a second. I'm gonna catch up to you. Yeah, you take your time, friend. I'll be right here. I got nowhere for her to go. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of white. So instead of like dipping my brush like right in the middle of the white puddle, I'm just gonna like touch like the very edge of it. So that way the whole thing doesn't turn yellow. And I'm just gonna mix it in there. Feel free to let your brush show. show. What about you, Matt? What are you gonna paint your plant with? I'm just gonna start with yellow because I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna follow your instructions. Yeah, absolutely. I might, I might uh, veer off. A little bit later? A little bit later, but yeah. I don't wanna. Feel free to, yes. Veer the curriculum so I can learn. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a little bit careful when I get to the edges. That's yeah. getting dark real fast. 
sorry. That, right. that, that was just the kind of kid I was, I guess. I just I really wanted chocolate then. You were really, like, really want the world. It really was. I was inspired by just candy. Yeah, I think I'm going to experiment a little bit and dip my brush at the very edge of the red so that it turn yellow. I would want to plant a cookie dough. Ooh. I don't think that plant will last very long. Nope, I'd eat the whole thing. All the hills and mountains and rivers and probably all the inhabitants. <laughs> if they were all made out of cookie dough. Oh, yeah. So blend it all together. And go back and forth between like the red and yellow. Make a nice orange color. Especially if you add like maybe a little bit of white. Yeah, see how this goes. I like the textures. I notice it's drying pretty fast on me. Yeah, maybe we can dip our brush in the water a little bit to... That's a good idea. Keep it a little bit red. Yeah, mine's kind of drying up on me too. Just, just a little bit. You can always add more. I think it's the paper we're painting on. Yeah, this is a little bit thinner than um, I think what mm -hmm. the kids have. I think it is, but... Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's totally okay. And I actually like the texture. I was going to say, I like the... The bumpiness of it kind of looks like my planet's been around for a few billion years. Ooh. Yeah, I remember I watched um, that new Pixar movie Lightyear recently. Good? Yeah, and they get stranded on a on a planet for a little while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have like these monsters and these vines and stuff, but they, they make it work. Okay. Ooh, that pink color by mixing red and white. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, maybe I'll add some more paste on here. I like this. I think I'm painting Mars. Yeah, is yours more looking red? It's looking pretty red. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm right-handed, so this is a fun challenge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to like change like the landscape or portrait mode of your, um... Yeah, this was just this way yeah. when I came up here, but I like it. I, like <laughs> I figured the, you were taller, so you would like the... <laughs> way. The more vertical. Yeah, I'm gonna do my left hand here, just for fun. Ooh, that's a fun way to experiment. And sometimes I do this when I'm brushing my teeth, too. Oh, no. <laughs> but I have to go back with my right hand to make sure I, was, I got all my teeth. Uh-huh. Oh, I like this paint. I've never painted with my left hand before. This is fascinating. Awesome, we're doing new things, lots of experimental things. I like it, I like it. I can feel my poor brain struggling right now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Scoop and gloop this paint on here. Ooh, do it. Scoop and gloop. <laughs> That's the official technique we learned in art school. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are the professional terms that we use. Scoop and gloop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Me too. Mm. Alright. Add a little bit more orange. Yeah. And we can have fun with the textures too. You can go left and right, make some X's, do some circles. Maybe some I want some stars. craters. I think I want some craters. Yeah? Maybe you can do like more of a circular motion. Add those kind of textures. trying to comment on the stream, uh, I apologize, I'm usually the one that's monitoring that. 
today I'm painting with my <laughs> But you can, if you're in the hospital, you can call down and Justin, is it is it two eight one one one? Two dial two eight one 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 on your hospital room phone and you can reach our phone in the back there if you have any questions or comments or you know any good space jokes. We love space Ooh. jokes. You know any good space jokes, Abigail? You know what? I think my our friend Justin told us one before we started. Justin, are you saving that for later? <laughs> sure. I don't even remember it. Remember how I told, tried to tell you that joke the other day? Remember how that went? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do astronauts throw a party? How do they throw a party? How do astronauts throw a party, Justin? How do they astronauts throw a party? Ooh, they must throw a lot of parties. They plan it. Woo, they plan it. I love it. <laughs> they plan it. I think It's still funny, even the second time. <laughs> Brooke had one earlier, too. How did it go? Um... Was it how do what do astronauts listen to? Yeah, what do they what do astronauts listen to at their party after they plan it? What's that? Space jams. Woo! Space jams. I love it. Space jams. You know, I never saw those movies. I know, I know. I feel so good. That's shocking. I feel like I lose credibility here. Yeah. Especially because I was a huge Michael Jordan fan back in the 90s. Yes, and you still didn't watch Space Jam. I never watched this, uh, any football unless it was the Chicago Bulls. Or, did I say football? <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, art school kid. Basketball, basketball. basketball. Oh, I think I blocked the word out. You know, growing up as a tall kid, everybody used to constantly ask me, oh. so do you play basketball? <laughs> no. A sensitive art kid. Ooh, I like that crater that you made. Thank it's you. So good. Thank you. I always wanted to leave an impression. James Webb Telescope? Uh -oh. Well, that is just an added bonus. Today is like uh, International NASA Day. Oh, oh cool. It's a, big, it's a big day in NASA. Here, let me see. International Let's Hide the Alien Information Day? <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's out there in Area 51. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's Area 52. Oh, is it? You're getting right up to the edge of your planet. I'm not doing a very good job of that. Yeah. International Space Station Day? That's cool. I think every day is a good opportunity to celebrate space. Because, I mean, space is cool. Yeah, I can't. Like literally, it's like really cold. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't with you. <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get closer to the edge. Like the scooping part is, like you go like that. 
the hood over there, you have to like have it on the bottom. So that way, over time, your wrist doesn't like hurt too much, something like that. It's supposed to be part okay. of like long term mm -hmm. um, thing to help. I don't know, that's what I've heard. So it reminds me of Tai Chi. We're just streaming online. Just stay back there if you don't mind. As long as it's cool to your parents. <laughs> Texture down here. Yeah. I like using whatever's left over on the brush and just. That's so much paint on my palette. <laughs> What do they read before going to bed? Yes. What kind of books do they like to read before going to bed? What's that? Comet books. Co cosmic books? Comet books. Oh, comet books. <laughs> oh, I like it. Or bedtime stories. Oh, oh my like goodness. That was really stories. good, too. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. Wow, that was you. impressive. So clever. <laughs> that was impressive. Yeah. Wow, look at the you different You guys just watching the stream or watching from their hospital room. Feel free to tell us some good like space jokes. Oh, there's another one. How do astronauts get clean in space? How do you what? How do astronauts get clean in space? How? They take a meteor shower. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that was really good. A meteor shower. You guys know any good space jokes? Anybody? No? <laughs> That's okay. I wonder what This is going on YouTube. So it'll be up there if you want to try it later. Yes. Let me zoom in here just a wee bit. Just a wee bit, laddie. There we go. All right, I'm going to find over all this equipment. I'm coming back. seem to achieve, you know? 
Which fingers are you using? Does it matter? Uh, no, I don't think it matters. I'm using my long, my longer one. Uh -huh, the middle one. Just because it's got good reach, yeah. you know. But I mean, I suppose I could use more than one. Wow. I think this is actually better than the brush. We're all about experimenting today, aren't we? Yeah. I like it. I like it. Picasso. Awesome. Picasso. Awesome. 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 Like a tiny high five, like a high two or three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing piano almost or something. Oh, very exciting. stand back and get a better view of my planet. That's actually looking pretty solid. Yeah, I know. I like yours a lot. <laughs> Thanks. I'm happy with it. It looks really good, my friend. I'm happy with it. I'm going to do a little bit more craters. Oh, like this nice. planet has been out there for a long time, just collecting experience and wrinkles. <laughs> Wait, am I talking about myself? <laughs> is, this a, is this actually a self-portrait? <laughs> is this a self-portrait? Are you projecting on the planet? <laughs> <laughs> projecting. <laughs> That's a whole other conversation for another day. <laughs> well, my dad always used to tell me I was kind of a space shot. So, it seems to work out just fine. <laughs> How are you feeling about your planet? Uh, I'm feeling super. Out of this world. Yeah. I like it. I like That's it. what I was looking for. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Like the one, like the one big crater in the uh, upper left there. Yeah. Like when it was by itself, it kind of reminded me of like a Death Star, like from Star Wars. It did look a little Death Starish. Yeah. <laughs> like a very colorful Death Star. But I don't want to get in trouble with the mouse for copyright infringement. No, so. we're not doing that. Sorry. I know this could be very easily mistaken for a professional photograph. <laughs> <of Death Star. laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I think I'm pretty okay with mine too. Go move to this planet. This looks great. Yeah. Retiring. This is where I'm retiring. Right? I'm gonna build myself a little house on one of these craters. I was gonna say, is it gonna be inside the crater, maybe just on the edge of it, or like? Probably on the edge, so I can get a nice uh, view of sunset or sunrise, or maybe both, mm. depending on the diameter of my planet. Mm. I wonder, like, if this. The planet also has like multiple moons too. Ooh, can I paint a moon? Absolutely. I was gonna say like once we feel like we're good with our planet, yeah, you can paint moons with your fingers. You can also paint some stars. So I like to use like just for like tiny stars, like the end of the brush and like dip it in either yellow or white or like a mix of yellow and white. Maybe I'll just start like dotting some here and there. I like doing this. Are you dotting your stars? Yeah, I'm dotting my stars. Yes, look at that moon. I'm all about this moon right here. Does your planet only have one moon? Uh, only in this frame. There might be several moons, but they're out of frame. Gotcha. I'm gonna throw a little blue in. Oh, we purple because I love purple so much. Hold on. Did you run out of space? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a really good one. That was a really good one. No, the end of my brush.
stay on beat with. He kind of starts on the upbeat there. Yeah. Good old Sinatra. Ooh, I wonder if there's like maybe some shooting stars. Maybe some shooting stars. Yeah. 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 Speaking of Sinatra, he's got a couple of outer space type like songs. Two. Rolled on a string. I mean, that's pretty close, right? Mm -hmm. Shooting stars. Yeah. Cool. That was something I didn't have in the example. Uh, that was fun. Actually. I'll have an extra plate. Okay, Brooke, can I have an extra plate, please? Mm -hmm. I want to mix a little bit of um, water with some paints to mm -hmm. make it thinner. So it'll be easier for me to splatter some things. Thank you, friends. You're welcome. Yeah, so I'm going to take some water. And then I'm going to take a little bit of cold wine. solution for that. It adds a lot of depth to it. Yeah, yeah. So it makes got it really tiny, right? Close mm -hmm. stars and far stars. Yeah. Uh, so how did you do that again? Uh, that yeah, time? so I got my extra plates okay. and I watered down some yellow and some white mixed together. Okay. Yeah, because if it's too thick, sometimes like it gets like um, a blobby look to it, so I like to water it down so that way. We already did the blobby. Yeah. Stage. 
Oh, I like what you're doing. You're just like dabbing it on there. Yeah. So it's too messy. Yeah, well, I'm also going to have to clean up the floor afterwards. <laughs> I know, I probably got to clean up the wall a little bit. So be careful. That's why I like to bring this really close to the, the paper. Yeah, be careful when you're doing this, guys. This could get pretty messy. Yeah. Fair supervision uh, advice. This is probably, <laughs> probably the best way to do it is I think it's the way you're doing it, where you kind of like flick it onto the... Yeah. I'm going to get real close. And notice how I'm not dipping it back into like the water solution because a little goes a long way. So what other programs do you guys have going on today? You have some uh, some other exciting games and stuff, like space-themed games and stuff? Yep, so um, viewers can tune in in um, about another hour to catch Space Bingo and play Ooh. along from their hospital rooms. Space Bingo, well, that's fun. Then after that, we have um, our own version of the space games, Ooh. which is like a, a some child life specialists are going to be competing on screen um, in some space themed sort of carnival games. Okay. And then, uh, then we have a um, a special broadcast of Guess Who's Under the Helmet, where we're going to have some hospital guests appearing on the broadcast wearing a space helmet. And they're going to have a brief interview, and we're going to have to try to guess who they are. What? Where'd you get a space helmet? I, I feel like the budget's expanding here. <laughs> That's exciting. It's going to be fun. So we have activities lasting all the way until 3 o'clock today. You hear that, guys? So if you're watching on the TV, Meadow you're not Adult Call Green, outside Wilson's entrance. Code Green. Adult Call Green, outside Wilson's entrance. Disney's definitely coming out here. Adult Call Green. Outside Wilson uh, entrance. So till three o'clock, you said three o'clock. Till three o'clock today. If you guys are in the hospital and you're watching on uh, channel 65, I think it is. Yes. You're gonna have all kinds of programming till three o'clock today. So stay tuned for that stuff. Uh, if you're watching on our YouTube channel, then you won't see that stuff. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm really happy about my space planet thing. I'm happy about it's yours too. And mine. <laughs> I love yours. I think that's great. I think yours looks great. I love your Come shooting on. stars. I feel like I'm gonna do. I gotta do a shooting yeah, star. Of course. Yeah, because he's like, like the the wooded end of the brush, and not the bristle back. Yes. Yeah, just like press and flick. Press and flick. Yeah, that's another fancy art term that we learned in um, art school. All right, so you guys learned two things today: press and flick and scoop and glue. This is free education right here. Free education. <laughs> <laughs> Only YouTube existed when I was a kid. I wouldn't have that <laughs> trial and error my way all the way to <laughs> scoop and glue. Right? Scoop and glue level of my career. I think I'm done with mine. I like my little shooting stars there. Oh, I do too. <laughs> If we had more time, I would want to paint myself on one, just riding it through space. <laughs> As if it was like a horse. Yes. All right, I'm getting carried away. I'm sorry. You're good. We're here to have fun. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on your space one more time. Sure. And then uh, and then I think we can probably say goodbye. It's been about 35 minutes. Nice quick little stream. So for those who joined us today, thank you guys so much. I hope you all have fun painting yeah. with me as much as I had with painting with Matt. <laughs> Abigail, thank you so much. Let's see if you get a better picture of you. Thank you so much, Abigail, for uh, doing that today. Remember, if you guys are watching in the hospital, stay tuned. They got programming all the way until 3 o'clock p.m. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day. Thanks.